Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, perform a proportion uh, test using SPSS which uh, could be used as an alternative for an exact binomial test if you have for example a binary variable and would like to know if the two category if one of the categories was chosen significantly more often than another um, it's hidden under analyze and then compare means even though we're not doing actually means we're doing proportions but for binary data proportion is similar to the average and then one sample proportions let me bring the view bring me the screen into the window into view um, I need a binary variable and in this data set gender was set to a binary variable with male and female only and then so I move that to my test variable under tests I can then select which test I actually want to perform so I get this window up here and I can choose for perhaps the exact binomial uh, a mid p adjustment to binomial which is more useful for confidence interval so I won't need it the score that is the standard one sample z proportion test if you want you can apply a Yates continuity correction to that Walt is very similar to score but instead in the calculation it uses for its standard deviation or standard error it uses the sample proportion uh, and not the expected proportion and also for that one you could apply continuity correction the test value so the proportion that you would have expected and then say continue click on OK and we should get our output now in our output I get all the test results uh, how many successes there were how many trials there were um, the proportion in the sample which was of course the same for all of them the observed test value um, this depends a little bit the test value of 0 0.5 the asymptotic standard error these are the test scores the test statistics the z values uh, of course not for an exact binomial and here are the one-sided significances and here are the two-sided ones you could click on this uh, and then if you make this slightly bigger I'm using SPSS 28 by the way uh, but it should be similar in other versions and then if you double click on any of these values you get even more decimals now as you might notice they're all below 0.05 so no matter which test I would have used they would all have been significant uh, which means that in this case um, it was significantly different the expected proportion was uh, the population proportion was significantly different from 0 0.5 or at least according to the test so it was uh, I probably had more significantly more females or males uh, in my um, in my population um, and yeah that's about it I hope this was helpful thank you for watching